So Niger Deltans have been reduced to common oil pipeline guards. So the reason tough men like Tompolo, Asari Dokubo, John Togo, God bless his soul, the reason these men recruited our young youth into militancy is just because to get federal government attention to come and give contracts, billions of contracts to commanders of militants. Not that you guys were actually fighting for the emancipation and freedom of the Niger Deltans. Not that you saw the degradation, not that you saw the deterioration of the environment, not that you saw the terrible and inhumane pollution and suffering of the people. Mm. You know, ever since Tompolo got the contract of securing the oil pipelines in the, in the Niger Delta, Asari Dokubo has been filming, mm, taunting Tompolo with all manners of threats. If I catch you, I will crush you. Mm, mm. So this is the reason you guys came out to spray bullets in the Niger Delta. Mm, it's pathetic. And to our federal government, I have one question for you guys. Why are you guys contracting private human beings to secure national assets? What is the work of the Navy? What are they doing? Why are we paying them billions of naira salaries and allowances? To be honest, what are they doing? I think 2023 or was it 2022? Asari Dokubo came out. I was you know, bragging that uh, federal government, the Buhari led uh, federal government, awarded him the contract to secure Abuja Kaduna Expressway. And he was accusing the army that the army should stop lying, that the reason they couldn't combat insecurity and insurgents is because they don't have enough ammunition. And Asari Dokubo was trying to discredit them that even his boys that were contracted to keep the Abuja and Kaduna Expressway from insurgents and the omanas of kidnapping, that his boys don't even have the ammunition that their Nigerian army has. To add to it, the Nigerian federal government had always said no, and is still saying no, to regional security outfits. Even as we speak, the idea of state policing, you see the back and forth that they are going about it. But same federal government is busy contracting private individuals who are, you know, luring, wandering our bushes with arms, and of which the constitution does not recognize them in any capacity. You keep meeting these guys, you keep contacting these militants and these bandits, leader of bandits and the rest of them, to secure national assets. Who are we fooling? What is the meaning of this back and forth? What is the meaning of all this? To Nigerians, are you guys not tired? And if you're in Nigeria, you're not thinking of the things I'm telling you right now. You go chi chi chi, you go chon chon chon. On I say dinner like this, eh? We know they pray, I know if you fool you.